Ausnahmerechte waren die ersten ähm, europäischen Operationsformen, die man kapitalistisch äh, nennen könnte. Ähm, und äh, das heißt nicht, dass IBM oder Volkswagen oder Bayern etc. heute noch so operieren. Aber ich glaube, für die Entstehung des Kapitalismus ist dieser Zusammenhang von Krieg, Politik und Kapital ganz wesentlich gewesen. Deswegen das Beispiel dieser ostindien kompanie die dann im 18. Jahrhundert zu kommen.
according to global trade. And music is also related to global trade. And that's maybe why it became difficult to play uh, Mozart's uh, Entführung aus dem Serai overture still in a so-called perfect way. Maybe all that is left is something that's broken. It's almost like it fell apart, it fell on the floor. It is, uh, it is, a, it is uh, not garbage, but it is not perfect anymore. And when we talk about cultural content that is copyright protected, it is a good like an Apple computer that is made in China. In a way, it is the same thing. And I think we should talk about trade and goods and people. Thought, which is a very Western thought of, of people 
people that might not be my friends, they say, well, and then there's one language that uh, binds us all together, and that's the language of music. And we saw in the three evenings that that is not true at all. The uh, things that are called world music are uh, a hegemonic system, and things that are called classical music is export of the Western world. Things that are classical music in China have nothing to do with that. We might not understand them. So it's rather non-understanding than understanding through music.